Today, I'm going to be showing you 10 things you probably didn't know about Space Flight Simulator, from cracks and cliffs and grounds and different planets, to removed features that used to be in the game, we have a wide range of things that you probably didn't know. Make sure you stick around to the end, and make sure you subscribe. Number 1. Let's start off with capsule variations. Did you know that there are actually three different capsule variations? If you did, congratulations. If you didn't, I'll show you how to obtain every single one of them. The first variation is very simple. You can obtain it by simply going to the build menu. The second variation is the variation with the heat shield. This can be obtained by going to your menu, going to example rockets, and clicking any one of them. After that, you can strip away any other parts, and you're left with the capsule and heat shield variation. The third variation can be obtained through BP editing. If you know how to BP edit, obtaining this will be a piece of cake. To obtain it, you're going to want to start off with a capsule heat shield variation. Once you save that as a blueprint, go to your files and find where it says interstage. Set it from false to true, and when you load it back in, congratulations, you've obtained the third variation. A second fact you might not know is that all three variations of the capsule are four tons. You may be wondering why this is so important, but you see, these two have the same mass, but when you add a heat shield to this capsule, it becomes 4.5 tons. So if you're looking to save weight, you might want to go with the combination instead. Fact number three, did you know that there used to be a larger probe than the one in game today? After that, however, it was completely removed from the game. One difference between the big and the small probe is that the big probe didn't have text made on Earth by humans on it. Number 4. Let's talk more about parts. You'd think there would be only 6 engines, but you'd be wrong. Some engines are only available in career mode, and you can't obtain them in the sandbox mode for some reason. The engine in questions are two solid rocket boosters and the Peregrine engine. You can kind of obtain it through BP editing by replacing the name of any other part with these three names in the file editor. When you go to reload the blueprint, you'll see it a ghost version of all these parts, but when you go to launch the rocket, the parts will disappear. Number 5. This is the last fact about parts, and specifically the solar panel. From this image here, can you tell me which side the solar panel is going to fall on? If you said the left side, you're wrong, because the center of mass is actually on the right side of the solar panel, not even within the solar panel hitbox. Now let's move on to the facts about the mission mode. Coming in at number 6, you probably know that Deimos has a crack on. This is because the terrain doesn't line up at the 90 degree mark. Now Deimos isn't the only one with this terrain glitch. Take Io and Celestio for example, and you can basically call it a cliff. Now let's talk about re-entry and atmospheric heating. Coming in at fact number 7, did you know that if you switch to a craft that's over 5 kilometers away from a craft that's entering the atmosphere, the one entering the atmosphere will not receive any atmospheric drag or heating effects. Number 8. This fact is going to absolutely blow your mind. What if I told you that all the planets are not solid objects other than right below where your rocket is? Hear me out. This was done intentionally to reduce lag. As you can see here, when the rocket approaches the Earth, the hitboxes get generated in. As the rocket goes side to side, the hitboxes follow underneath the rocket, and when it eventually leaves again, the hitboxes boxes go and disappear, which means the planet basically doesn't even have a hitbox anymore. Alright, at fact number 9, we're going to talk about quick saves. Bet you didn't know that quick saves do not save angular velocity. So if you have a spinning rocket and it's out of control, all you got to do is make a quick save, revert to the quick save, and your rocket automatically stops spinning. Coming in at number 10, on November 7th, we've had 728,000 blueprint links ever created, and by now it has probably reached over 1 million. That's all for me, make sure you guys subscribe, hit that like button. I don't know, check out my channel or something. I'll see you later. Bye.